Switching gears now, hot off the press. Yeah, we have the newest edition of Florida Weekly. It's out today. It's free, timely, and Eric Raditz is here to talk about it. How are you, Eric? Oh, it's a pleasure. I'm well, thank you. How are you, Chad and Doing Amanda? well. Thanks Very for great. gracing us with your presence. Oh, I was going to say thanks for allowing me in yours. <laughs> On the cover, Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary. Great place if you've never visited. It's off of Mockley Road. What about the, the, why did you guys pick this to go right there on the cover? Well, if you've never been to the Corkscrew, Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary, <laughs> first of all, you do need to go. We are talking about acres and acres of beautiful Florida and with gators and wood storks, tree swamps and an ecosystem rich with nature and life. Our very own Roger Williams toured it just to get a state of how it's doing uh, along with its unmatched beauty. One thing he observed was some invasive willows, uh, something that restricts the natural flow of things and something they're trying to reduce in order to restore its natural ecostructure. Uh, caring for it's something that takes a lot of work. And so we talked to the director that oversees that work and things that we can expect to see them in order to maintain this beautiful place in our future here in Southwest Florida. There's a boardwalk that goes out into the swamp. Oh, I know. And so you get these orchid enthusiasts who go out there to see the ghost orchid yes. in bloom. It's beautiful, beautiful. And it's one of those uniquely Southwest Florida spots. Very unique to, to the nation, to the world. I have yet to go. I'll have to check it out, especially after you said that ghost orchid. Ghost orchid, yeah. Rare. Sure it's binoculars, that. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, another thing that maybe we should be checking out if you like food is on your business section. We have someone here locally doing their own type of, you know, food show. Yeah, and so uh, this is pretty fun. We have a new cooking show in town, and what he did essentially is he bought up some airtime, and he's showing half-hour cooking shows in kind of a foodie-style show to be aired in Southwest Florida. Basically, uh, he visits chefs and those who are foodies around town and cooks with them and eats with them, and the word is that people will be tuning in. Something I think that I think you and I should do, Chad, here on NBC, a What's little that? foodie show. Foodie? No. Just you and I. We'll no cook. more show. I'm tired of no. No more. You can do no it. No more. In the morning, they they, breakfast is, with Chad. No. Eric. No, breakfast people have seen Amanda, Chad. you and I will have to do it. Yeah, I'm okay. all about it. You're out, Chad. I'll eat. <laughs> Me and Amanda. They can do the show. I'll just eat the food. <laughs> That's fair. We're running out of time. Arts and entertainment really Oh, fast. okay. So if, you like the, if you're a fan of the band, uh, you will love the story that, of the tradition continuing with the weight band. So come to South uh, Florida and Bonita Springs if you haven't heard of them, but you enjoy kind of the sound of gospel country folk blues, like the Lumineers, Mumford & Sons. Uh, you'll likely like their music. And if you've heard of them, you'll be very happy to hear that the, the tradition continues. Top picks also in town. If you have not uh, thought of what you're going to do this weekend or week, check out Florida Weekly because we have top picks. So we have uh, Taste of the Cape, uh, Jersey Boys, Poetry oh, yeah, Night. Oh, and half of Sync is at Society in Fort Myers. So oh. check it out. Not the Justin Timberlake half. Oh. Florida Weekly, pick it up. It's free everywhere. Eric Raddatz, we'll see you next week. Sounds good. It's a pleasure. Keep Thanks. it here. Next at 1130, Boat Motors, catching the eyes of thieves in Cape Coral.